let's learn some examination tips on how to solve and get good grades of igcse level paper 6 that is alternative to practicals so in this video we will learn about how to use the laboratory apparatus making observations and measurements and recording the readings in the paper 6 then how to plot the graph and handling the data interpreting the results of simple experiments and at the end planning simple investigations so let's start with the first point to solve paper 6 we should be able to recognize and label the laboratory apparatus and some standard equipments and here we can see some standard equipments and laboratory apparatus which we should know with diagram and with its correct name like burette pipette crucible beaker these are the few apparatus which are very commonly used and we are asked to label such apparatus in the paper 6 here are few more apparatus or equipments which we need to use during the paper 6 solving or we may use it during planning and investigation so we should be knowing thoroughly about this apparatus also now let's take an example here is one of the question which is very commonly asked in paper 6 that is name the pieces of apparatus label a to c now here is the picture you may have many such similar pictures here is just one example that label the apparatus a b and c now such apparatus were already seen in the earlier part of this video so we it can be easily labeled like this is mortar here is the glass rod and c is filter funnel now along with knowing the names we should also know the safety measures to be used in using this apparatus and also what are the precautions to be taken care while using this apparatus now this may involve the use of protective clothing like lab coat then safety glasses gloves etc we should also be able to understand the experimental setups for example if a question may include like where on the diagram is heat required now you may have a boiling tube or a test tube shown and you are given some material here and you are asked that where on the diagram heat is required so you may label it here showing an arrow and write it heat so you may be asked such questions also another part may ask identify two mistakes in the diagram now such questions may also be asked wherein for example if a uh, hydrogen gas is, is to be collected now hydrogen gas is very very light in weight so it has to be collected in an upward apparatus where it can be collected in such test tube with a tube inverted test tube or inverted measuring cylinder can be used but suppose if co2 gas is to be collected now this gas is heavier so we need to collect it in an measuring cylinder which is an upright condition where the tube may involve going down from the top you may also be asked questions related to reducing errors like how to improve the results now these good answers may include that repeat the experiment take various readings and take the average of those results or in place of measuring cylinder you may suggest using burette or graduated pipette next paper 6 may also involve about the observing measuring and recording readings now this may be like diagrams of the apparatus are given for example thermometer burette measuring cylinders gas syringe etc etc may be shown and you are supposed to measure or note down the correct readings from those diagrams now here is one example where the diagrams of thermometers are given with initial temperature and final temperature now looking at the diagram we have 20 here and 25 here so here is our reading with 24 degrees but it may happen that by mistake we start reading from the top and we may read this as 26 degrees which is 
wrong so reading the diagrams correctly is also very important then you may be given such a table where looking at the various diagrams you may have to note down the initial and final temperatures and fill in the table here so here we can write the initial temperature as 24 degrees and final temperature here is 27 and the difference to be noted down also here is one more diagram of gas syringes now here we can see that the initial reading is 0 and here it's 16 because it is past 10 here again the initial reading is 0 and the final reading is 29 centimeter cube or whatever volume is given in your question. So what exactly is meaning here is that we should be reading it correctly from the diagrams and we should confirm it twice before writing it in the table because such a reading, such a uh, questions will give you full marks in the paper 6. Now following the reading of correct diagrams you may have graphs for example draw a graph and label the axis may be a next question after, after the readings. Here is an example of a good graph where a very smooth curve is drawn with the readings. Here you may have few points as given here. But suppose if you draw straight lines this way connecting all the points and that is considered as a very poor graph. So drawing a very smooth curve throughout all the points is considered as a good graph and you may get full marks for such a graph. Now following the graph you may have again some questions like how long it takes to produce a given volume of gas. So from the graph you need to make out extra plotting that graph. Extra plotting that graph means suppose if you are asked how long it takes for the given volume. So first draw a extra plotted line from the volume then find out the time to the x axis or y axis so extra plotting such line on the graph to find out your answer is very important so you may have such graph where volume is plotted on y axis and time is given on the x axis so plotting such dashed lines extra plotation is also important to find out the correct reading now from the graph you may be asked to calculate the rate from the graph. Now to calculate rate from the graph we just need to find the gradient that is slope of the graph. We should also know how to handle the data provided to us. For example a question may include a student investigated the reaction between potassium manganate and a metallic salt solution. Two experiments were carried out. Here are the readings of experiment 1 and experiment 2. The reading for the first experiment is 26 cm cube and here the initial reading given is 16 and the final reading given is 29. So the difference we can find out as 13 cm cube. Now the next sub question following may be compare the volume of potassium manganate solution used in experiment 1 and 2. Now looking at the readings 26 and 13 we can make out that in experiment 1 double the volume of potassium manganate was used compared to experiment 2. The next sub question may be suggest an explanation for the difference in the volume. Now as we can reread the question to find out what exactly has happened here is a reaction between potassium manganate and metallic salt solution. Now if potassium manganate required in experiment 1 is double that shows that the concentration of metallic salt solution in experiment 1 should be double than the concentration of metallic salt used in experiment 2. That's the reason that the manganate solution required to react with it was, was also double. So such an explanation is required when you are asked to compare and find out the volumes. That's what we mean by handling the data. Now interpreting the results of simple experiments may include the questions concerning the qualitative analysis. 
For example, two solids S and V were analyzed. S was copper two oxide. The test on the solids and some of the observations are in the following table. Write down the observations which are missing from the table. Now, following this question, you may be given a table where lots of observations are given, or you may have dashes where you have to write the observations. Now, as we know that S is a salt copper oxide that is CuO and V is a salt which is unknown now for such an unknown salt the observation will be given and from that you need to analyze that what salt it is but here S we know so they may ask suppose the appearance of this salt then you may write that it is a black powder or next they may ask that it if it is copper then the reaction with sodium hydroxide or react reaction with aqueous ammonia may be asked now from the table of the qualitative analysis which is already there in the last chapter of igcse syllabus we should be knowing all the observations so adding sodium hydroxide aqueous solution to copper oxide we should have an observation of blue precipitates which is insoluble in excess now with ammonia similar observation but in excess it dissolves giving the deep blue solution so such questions may be asked where two solids are given and one of the solid is known and the other solid is unknown now here you should be given the observations and you are supposed to conclude from this observations that what is the cation like copper what is the cation present and what is the anion present in this salt next you may be asked about planning and simple investigation so such an answer should include certain details for example you should be including all the apparatus and equipments to be used during the experiment then we should also include the conditions required during the experiment for example if some heat is required we need to mention where and which substance is required with the heat measurements and observations to be made during the recording comparisons of the experiments to ensure the fair test interpretation of the results to make the conclusion now let's study an example here two bottles of liquid oven cleaners are shown here you may be given a diagram you may not be given i have not shown here you the two bottles the oven cleaners contain the sodium hydroxide now plan an investigation to show which oven cleaner contain the highest concentration of sodium hydroxide now what we need to think is that we are supposed to investigate about the concentration of sodium hydroxide now sodium hydroxide is a base and we need to find out the concentration of the two liquid cleaners now we can do that easily by titrating the two liquids with the acid for example an hcl acid now we also need to mention during the experiment during the explanation of whole investigation that what are the apparatus we are going to use for example if for titration we are using burette we need to mention that a particular concentration of hcl solution is filled up in the burette what volume of sodium hydroxide of oven cleaner suppose a oven cleaner and b oven cleaner then we need to mention that suppose 25 cm cube of oven cleaner a is taken in a conical flask then we also need to use the name of the indicator which we are going to use and how much of the indicator is added during the experiment in the conical flask then mention how much volume of hcl is used should be noted down in both the experiments with the solution a and solution b and at the end we need to conclude that which oven cleaner a or b is of higher concentration by comparing the volume of the hcl used 
सो दिस आर द फ्यू पॉइंट्स वी नीड टू टेक केयर वाइल प्लानिंग एंड सिंपल इन्वेस्टिगेशन बट बिफोर वी मैंशन ऑल दिस points we should also find out and decide that what kind of experiment we are using to find out such an investigation now for planning such simple investigation we should also know some extra terms like independent variable dependent variable and controlled variable although we don't use such words in, in the description of our answers but these are certain common terms we should be knowing now what is an independent variable it is factor which we are changing during the investigation factor to be changed i would say here so in the example which we have seen about the oven cleaner which is the factor we changed we changed the liquid a and b so what is the factor we have changed here is the type of the liquid now what is a dependent variable it's the measurement which we are doing now what is the measurement which we did in our last experiment was the volume of hcl needed for the titration with liquid a and b so measurement which we are dur doing during the experiment is called dependent variable now what is controlled variable now these are the factors which we should keep same which we need to keep same during the experiment now let's see an example what do we mean by this for example now the volume of liquid a and b which we used was same for example we took 25 cm cube of each of these liquids so the volume of the liquid we kept same other than that we used the same indicator and the drops of indicator used were also same now in this experiment temperature is not important because this reaction takes place at room temperature but suppose if some of the experiment is requiring a heat so we also need to keep the temperature same so these are the few important points we need to take care while planning an investigation and we had also seen other factors other points which we need to see that what has to be taken care when we are solving paper 6 that is alternative to practical paper at igcsc level so if you need few more guidance you may contact on the given email id in the description so prepare well